everybody, it's Holly and welcome back to Smile by Holly. So today I just wanted to share with you a cute idea if maybe you're going to be doing a craft fair this December or you know just a cute gift if you wanted to use these as neighbor gifts or co-worker gifts or even just a darling little stocking stuffer. And aren't they just cute? This uh, just houses four little Hershey nuggets and I think the packaging is just over the top, really takes it to the next level. And these are super simple. And you know what? That's what it's all about. So let's go ahead, jump right in and get started. So the first thing that you're going to need are some papers that are three by three. So find some cute Christmas pattern paper or even just some red and green cardstock would be great. Um, I'm also using some chipboard, either chipboard or poster board because I think that it gives these little candies a nice backing, you know, so they're not floppy. It makes it just nice and sturdy. So grab yourself some chipboard. Like I said, you can even use a cereal box if you don't have any chipboard, but also cut that down to three by three, and then you will want to mount your three by three papers onto your chipboard. So let's go ahead and do that first step. How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, the Christmas season is upon us. I love it. Christmas is such a wonderful season. I get so excited. You know, you can just kind of feel the magic in the air. Love December. So everyone always asks me, it's like, so with your name being Holly, were you born in December? I'm like, nope, born in August. <laughs> but my mom loved Christmas, so that is where I got my name, Holly, anyway. Okay, I'm jabbering, but anyway, so we've got our three by three papers mounted on that chipboard and it's just nice and sturdy. What you want to do now is cut yourself some pieces of paper that are three by one. And this is what is going to wrap around our nuggets. Now this is so simple. You know, I have done videos before with nuggets where you can actually score the paper to go around. But seriously, if you're trying to make a lot, no, it's just kind of a hassle. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on them and let me show you how easy. Just put that right on the back and I found that hot glue works the best. Just wrap that around and I'm wrapping it very tight. I want a tight fit around this nugget. Wrap it around and just seal it. Okay, no scoring, it was just super simple and easy and your Hershey nugget is covered. You know, you could sit down and be watching like a movie and do like a hundred of these. I just think that this cute little gift, you could really make a ton in one sitting. Look how fast that is. So I'm just covering our little nuggets here. So are you guys ready? I mean, like I say, we the month is upon us. We've got what, about 24 days of Christmas crafting. Uh, are you taking on big projects or are you done? Some people are probably done with all their Christmas crafts and if that's you, more power to you. Let me know what the secret is. <laughs> I always seem to always be doing last minute crafts or gift giving or you know how it goes. Anyway, okay, so there's four. I'm gonna make four more just really quick. And I'll just show you, these come together so fast, we'll make two in just a matter of seconds. Um, I think I've tried this with regular glue and if you have time to sit and hold it, then that works. But with hot glue, you can just wrap it real tight and it holds. So just kind of keep that in mind. I have found that hot glue works the best. Now, don't hold it there too long or you might melt your chocolate. <laughs> Melted chocolate. Sounds good, but not if you're trying to give it away, right? <laughs> okay, let's do two more. And one last one. The gold Hershey nuggets are the ones with the almonds in them. Oh my, those are my favorite, definitely. Do you prefer the ones with uh, the almonds or do you just like the plain milk chocolate? Okay, so look, everything's covered. Wasn't that fast? Now we can go ahead and bring in our chipboard. I'm going to just slightly cut, I'm seeing a little bit of chipboard there, so 
just cutting that down a bit. And you just want to arrange these on so that they're centered. And once again, we're just gonna use our hot glue. Just gonna put that down. This gives it, you know, a good hold so they stick on. You don't want them falling off if you're trying to give this as a gift. Isn't so that uh, piece of chipboard, isn't it just perfect for four of these nuggets? And you know, sometimes all you really need to do is just a little, I'm thinking of you, and this would be it. Okay, I've got glue strings, sorry. Glue strings are everywhere. That's what one of the things when you're working with hot glue is you tend to get those, those pesky little glue strings. Okay, so we've got our nuggets on there, and you know, even if you were to flip them upside down, they're holding on like really, really, really good. Then what I did is I got these bags just at Hobby Lobby. Let's see, these are 100 reclosable bags, and they're, uh, can't read that. <laughs> they are five by four, so five by four, and these seem to work out really nicely for these cute little treats. So five by four, I went ahead and just opened these up, pop those down in there. I just think this is a cute way to do a little gift. Seal it up, seal it up. Okay, and then I took some papers that were four by four. So four by four, and I just folded them in half. Okay, this is going to be just our mini bag topper. Doesn't get any simpler. Um, just took this and put it right on there, nice and centered. And then I just grabbed my stapler and stapled that closed, okay? Is that just so simple? And look how cute these bag toppers just, just gives it a nice finish. So staple that shut. And then it's just about, you know, doing some fun things on the front. Of course, you must add your bow, right? <laughs> oh, I still get a kick out of that. Okay, I'm gonna put just some papers on the front. I'm covering up that staple. So you can't see the staple. And then I have just a few things. This one says Merry Christmas. I didn't get on there very straight, sorry. So I just, I'm using some cute little embellishment words. That one says joy. What's another one? We have merry and bright, we'll use that one. And then add our bow, and guys, we will be done. So there you go, look how fast and easy that was, and I think these turned out just adorable. What do you guys think? Anyway, I hope that maybe I've inspired you or given you an idea of something that you can run out and make today. So have fun Christmas crafting, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.